Do you ever get the feeling you're not alone or something's hiding in the corner of a dark room? Well, that's exactly how I felt here. Tonight, I head alone into the Welsh mountains and return to an abandoned home we discovered nearly two years ago. The house sits isolated and abandoned for over 10 years when the last owner, a woman named Mathanway, died here after living alone for many years. With no family, her possessions have sat here ever since she passed away. And now with the paranormal equipment I've attained since discovering the house, it's time to return and see if it's just her items that remain trapped in the house, or if Mathanway herself or any other spirits is in any way still here. So join me as I take a look in this potentially haunted, abandoned house hidden in the Welsh mountains and see what and who remain trapped inside. To my fanway's house. Front door's open this time. Snug. Hmm. Oh wow, but you can see how much it's changed. It looks like there's been a few people in here. The doll's still here. Check that. The headless doll, but now she's got some whiskey. Wow. Obviously, like I said, we've been here before. I'm going to uh tag the video down below of the last time we came here so you can see it two years ago before it's all changed but check this out guys amazing so we are just gonna have a quick look around see what the place is about nowadays and then we're gonna get the equipment out and investigate it I haven't investigated this place before so it should be really interesting hopefully we get some vibes and be able to speak to the last owner so the newspapers on here are 1964 like you can tell people have been in but we still have the old photos Check the old black and white pictures, the children there, possibly the person that lived here. But this is crazy. It's so mad to go back to places as well and see how different they are. Because obviously I don't usually go back to places. 2011 on there. So it is nice sometimes. Wow, ornaments still left. Like this house is literally in the middle of nowhere. So it should be quite chill. And I'm not 100%, but I don't think anyone's actually investigated this place before. I know explorers have been. I know obviously people on the route have been. But anyone to actually investigate this place, I'm not 100%. You can see there's all like sheep poo in here, so I don't know if a sheep's gotten in here at any time. But that's the living room. All these keys on the side still. There is a car out front as well. But I don't know if that was the owner's or if that's just a stolen car that's been dumped. But look at this, you can see how grimy it is. But around the grime, there's just little bits of personality. of personality of personality so I've just heard a bump from upstairs and whilst I was setting the camera up I did hear a couple of bangs but I'm just putting that down to the weather at the moment because it is really windy out there seems quite still in the house though hello Hmm. One thing I never figured out last time was the name of my family's husband. Like, I'm pretty sure I 
remember the name John for some reason. But just look at the trinkets on the side. These are pretty cool. Wow, that's quite heavy actually. It's quite heavy. Tank card. Mini jelly babies. Look at that. Still look edible. Wow. A lot of it is still pretty untouched. Home sweet home there. And we even have the old records, look. How cool is that? The old tapes. Here we go. Here we go. There they are. So I'm not sure, but one of them is the owner of my family. Obviously one's a husband stood behind her, but you could take your pick at the moment. Hopefully we'll find out more. There is a lot that I don't remember seeing last time, so I don't know if people have been in and had a route and pulled things out for photographs. Wow, forget me not. Is that where somebody's passed? Retirements, big old speakers there. And look at this, still untouched in here. Crazy to think like, I am getting a vibe. Don't know if it's because I'm on my own or if somebody's here, but let me just do a quick shout. So if there's anyone in this house with me now, my name's Adam, I don't mean any harm whatsoever being here. I mean complete respect to you and your house. Can somebody let me know if they're here with me in any way? Maybe knock? Move something? I am gonna keep a listen out. So if you wanna do that whilst I'm in the house, that'd be absolutely amazing. I am gonna get some equipment out to try and talk to anyone that's in this house. So. Hmm. Right, hang on. So I am kind of on a mission to find the husband's name. I believe he passed away before my family. Is that me moving the door, do you think? But look at that, there's like a little hidden room under the stairs there. That's cool. There is beers on the side. Jams. <sighs> so I do believe, after doing research as well, that this house is well over a hundred years old. 18, late 1800s it was built. So, it of Hello? Is there somebody in this house with me? Is there someone in here with me? Can you move something? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so late 18, 1800s, the house was built. And you can really see the original features in there too. This old, looks like where they'd cook food back in the day. I do understand that it's an old house and that it is. Wow, look at that cobweb. Oh my days. It is quite windy outside. Jesus. Look at the cobweb there hanging down. It's like a curtain. So we have mugs, glasses. Wow. Let's see if there's anything written on there now. Looks like they travelled a bit. London, New York, New Key. As if I didn't check the fridge. I can't remember this fridge. Fridge odour eliminator. Got some lemon and herb and some jams at the top there. Nice, nice, nice. This is cleared out. 
kitchen's been absolutely ran through though. Washing up still on the side. Cutlery drawers. And look how murky this is. Cobwebs everywhere. Marigolds. Oh god, I forgot that cobweb. And then he walked straight into that. Got the old phone on the top there. That's pretty cool. There's a breeze coming in. Look at that. These cupboards look like they are literally about to collapse. They are really dodgy. I think they're literally being held up with cobwebs. Be careful. Look at that microwave as well. Jeez. Toshiba. So that's a couple of things we've heard anyway. Just to start off with. We are going to keep having a look around before we get the equipment out because we do want to try and find out as much as we can about the people before we try and contact them. If there's anyone in this house with me, can you make a knock like this? Door's just opened. It is windy though. Weird how it's when I asked. Can you move that door again? I'm pretty sure it's just the wind. As I was saying, if there is somebody in this house with me, maybe you want to contact, maybe you've got a message to pass on. Can you make this noise? Definitely been sheep in here, look at this. See the toothbrushes, soaps. Shower. Seems quite clear out the back there. But the house is just so grimy. I thought that was like a photo. Right, let's head up. DIY. It just looks like cardboard, man. Oh. It has been run through. Look at this. Bed's been tipped over, drawers pulled out. Somebody's really been looking for something in this house. But all the clothes still hung up. Look at that. Christmas crackers. even close there completely full still so I do like to come to these houses that are full because you get attachments you get oh, personal effects that meant something to the families sometimes they don't want to leave them sometimes residual energy gets attached like I said it's absolutely amazing much prefer to do investigations in house like this just in case Got all the puzzles and books on top. Still got trinkets, typewriter down there too. That's cool. More clothes. Clothes in the wardrobe. But it just makes you think though, there's a bed under there that's collapsed. Like how did they have enough room for all this stuff? It must have been so full at the time as well when they lived here. Hello be seeing you in a few days wow and there's like a little hidden room here once again completely full readers digest all books on top a bible always find a bible in these old houses that's incredible more books on the shelf Mr. Mrs. Andrew. Wow. Got all the puzzles. Obviously spent a lot of time in the house. As they got older, probably didn't leave much as, like I said, it is quite remote. Religious books there. So it is pretty cool. And the 
the old typewriter. Typewriter? The old sewing machine. It's gotta be a sewing machine in a band though. Okay, Laura, so as I said, I have already looked around this house. We did just want to have a little look to see if it was safe, if anyone's here, and what the state of the house is now. Seems pretty much the same as when we last came here, except for a few bits have moved around. So it is time to get the paranormal equipment out. I've never investigated this place before. So hopefully, hopefully something's still here and we can make contact. Okay, Explorers, so we're gonna walk around with the Spirit Talker. We're gonna have the K2 going. We're gonna listen out for this, see if it picks up on any words, any messages that wanna come through. Hopefully, we get something from a family or any other spirits that rest in this house. Do you have a message to pass on? So we're gonna get that going there. And hopefully, get something on the K2 as well. So if there is anyone in this house that would like to contact with me, can you come towards me? touch this device in my hand the colors will change they'll go to orange they'll go to red if there's a lot of energy near it if my family's still here can you come towards me can you touch my hand this black device in my hand it won't harm you in any way whatsoever it is just an indicator for me to know that you're still here move into the living room That's not creepy at all, is it? Bloody, bloody crow on a mad one. If there's anyone in this room with me now, can you touch this black device? The owner of this doll? <gasps> we have spoke before. I've been here before. So I've been to this house before. First thing that comes up. Is we've spoke before yes my name's Adam do you remember me do you remember me from the last time I came here is this my family that I'm speaking to or is it somebody else touch the device let me know that's crazy first thing it says we've spoke before so as I said, if you'd like to make any knocks, if you'd like to move something around the home, I'd really appreciate it to let me know that you're here. If you'd like to touch this device, I don't know what's going on out there. Some crows absolutely going sick. Do you have, if you have any other messages, you can speak to the device on the chair here. It's a word bank. You can pick out words from there and let me know. Painted neck. Painted neck again. I've had that before. I've never seen anyone else get that on the device. Painted neck. So obviously guys, that is a word bank. Those words are stored in there. They're picking out the words to tell me. The words are stored. So to get painted neck again i've never seen anyone else get that and it just so happens i keep getting it can somebody touch this device as i said the colors will change device 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 literally just said can you touch this device on your cupboard can you touch that for me there's absolutely nobody around it that's going to uh, interfere. We would just like you to be the one to touch it. I like it here. I like it here. I can see why. It's an absolutely beautiful little house you've got here. It's in an amazing location. Is that why you don't want to leave? Just keeping an eye out on that behind me. Is that why you don't want to leave, my family? This is obviously your home. Stomach. Stomach. Is that how you passed away? Was there problems? Did you have problems with your stomach? 
let's keep this moving I always find kitchens are good areas as there was a lot of activity when the people were living here so we'll head through into there Were you having problems with your stomach? Is that what happened? Is that why you passed away? Are you even aware you've passed away? I always assume that they do, but we don't know. If you'd like to touch this device on the side, that would be absolutely amazing. It doesn't go off very often, so if it does, I'll know it's you. Hey, over here. Hey, over here. Hey, over here. Can you make a knock where you are? So I know where to go? Is that possible? I know it takes a lot of energy. And I know it's hard work. I do appreciate what you're doing so far. The wind outside's really hard into this. Is that you? Look at this back door boarded up. I know it's difficult and I know it takes energy to touch this device to change the colours. I really appreciate it though. Yes. Yes. Can you help me out? Can you tell me if there's more than one person in this house with me? Can you tell me how many people are in here? Touch this device if there's more than one. Can you make a knock for how many people are here? That's weird. It's quite difficult guys because it is windy as well. So I'm trying to... I'm an angel. I'm an angel. You sound like it. You sound like you're a really nice lady. Don't know why I've put that on the toilet guys. It was just the first place where I figured. So I'm an angel. We got the answer, yes. We got, hey, I'm over here. Stomach. I like it here. Device. Painted neck. And we have spoke before. Obviously, like I said, this is a word bank. The words are stored into it. They are picked out at random by whoever wants to pass on a message. So that is strange. Let's head upstairs. But obviously an older lady lived here. She may not know what the... Cupboard. Cupboard. Okay, cupboard. Cupboard. Which cupboard? The owner of these clothes touched this device. See, this is all, all females clothes. Proper farmer wear as well, like tweed. There's a few male shirts at the end there, but they could have just been kept as a momentum, as a, a memory. You know what I'm trying to say. Look how low that beam is as well. My family, if you're here with me, touch this device. Or is it somebody else? does not get a lot of action oh. but that's good I suppose because then when we do it gives it more authenticity word of the day I'm sad I'm sad can you tell me why you're sad are you lonely 
possibly they miss your family if you touch these devices when I say something relevant obviously continue to speak into this one for me Sebastian and Stray wonder if uh, that's a dog's name Stray there is no peace there is no peace do you mean in the afterlife or when you're alive I'm sad there is no peace 2008 diary there next to this modern wonder magazine there's a lot of birthday cards a lot of postcards you must have been quite liked or loved when you were alive what was that this could be the cupboard is this the cupboard you were speaking of? This is your favourite room? Obviously spent a lot of time in here. It's like a hobby room. A lot of books, sewing, puzzles. What do you mean by open my mind? I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Innocent of what exactly? You can see how old this house is. Look at the stonework. It's crazy. Is there any way possible you could touch this device to make the colours change? I know it's a big ask. I know it takes energy. I would really appreciate it though if you could do that for me. It is a big ask, especially if nobody's investigated this house before. Like they completely won't know what that is. I'm gonna get some more equipment out. I'm gonna find, I wanna try and find out who I'm speaking to. If you could make any knocks or bangs whilst I'm in the house, it would be greatly appreciated. Maybe if you'd like to touch some more of the equipment, we can give that a go, guys. Maybe get the cat balls out. They're a lot more sensitive than the K2. Taunt. Taunt. I think we should try it. Okay, Explorer, so I have sat up in the dining room. I've picked this room because it would have had a lot of activity when the owners were here. We have got the REM pod set up. I've got cat balls dotted around the room. We're also going to use the necrometer because it's been a while since we've used that and it does give out some interesting answers. And we also have the 2K2 set up. We're going to obviously listen out for words. We're going to listen out for knocks and bangs and hopefully something will set this equipment off. Okay, so I'm in your dining room area. If there is anyone that would like to come into this room and make contact with me, it would be much appreciated. You can touch any of the equipment, you can play with it. It will change colours, it will make noises. And you can also speak into this device in my hand. So if a uh, follower, a follower, do I have a follower with me? A bit random. So the red device on the table here, That'll change colours, it'll go green, orange, blue, purple, depending on how close you get to it. It'll also set an alarm off so I know that you're here. The K2s, obviously, they'll go from green to orange to red. And the cat balls in the glasses that I've dotted around, they'll flash, they set off really easy, so you don't really need to do much with them. Just go towards them, see if you can touch one. Appreciate it. You can speak into this device also. So if there is anyone here, can you possibly manipulate some of this equipment? It won't harm you in any way, it's going to take a little bit of energy, I know that. You can use my energy if you need to. Is my family in this house with me? Me. May. Is that your name? Is that possibly when you passed away? Can you let me know? I 
I understand that this takes energy. I understand this may be new to you. But if you'd like to help me in any way, see if I can help you. Maybe there's something I could do. Is that possible? As I said, you can touch that device on the side there, in the tankards and in the glasses. There's devices there you could touch and in your glasses. Obviously you like the drink, but you can touch one of those devices for me. There's even one in the doorway there. If you could possibly touch that, move that in any way whatsoever. I'll be your best friend forever. So what's May? Is May a name? Is it a significant month to you? A birthday? Maybe something traumatic happened then? Bright. Bright. Are you talking about this light? Medal. Medal. Telling me I'm meddling. I don't mean for you to think I'm meddling. I am just trying to talk to you. I do just want to know if there is anything in the afterlife. If you can help me with that. Can you tell me what it's like maybe? After you pass away? That crow's on a mad one again. Ooh, strange. I know you said you're sad. Was that when you were alive? Were you lonely here? What's going on out there? False. You weren't lonely here. What is going on out there? They are going sick. Were you quite happy here? Can you touch one of these devices? Guys, I'm going to keep this in. If nothing's happening, it's staying in. She decides she's going to uh, help us out. Why am I so hot there? Six. Six. What's six? Four spirits. Four spirits. REM pods going off. Payment. Payment? What do you mean by payment? You want payment for doing this? Four spirits. Can you tell me the name of the sp four spirits? That is actually holding on blue there, look at that. It's even going to purple slightly. And I mean, you have to get pretty bloody close to that for it to go to purple. Basically be touching it. Thank you for doing that. Can you move away from it? Okay. Can you tell me the name of the four spirits? That's crazy. You fail. <gasps> you fail? Fail at what? My camera's losing focus. The hell? Can you move away from it? Can you touch one of the other devices? That is going mad. Right, I'm gonna touch it. See if it does anything. It's 
see it's still the sun is still near it I'm just gonna step away so it doesn't think it's me can you do that can you make it go blue again what is it can you tell me the name of the person setting that device off Can you possibly set that off again? Be able to do that for me? Uncertain. Uncertain. What are you uncertain about? Do you know what I've noticed? This K2's gone. That K2 zapped. I wonder if it used the energy for that. No, it's gone. Today. Today? What about today? What about today? Has today got any significance with you? First time you've been able to speak to someone for a long time, I suppose. Grazer. Grazer? The hell does Grazer mean? Okay guys, so we're in the living room, EVP on the go. We are next to the creepy ass doll. I'm just gonna do some questions. Hopefully the EVP will pick something up. Absolutely amazing if it does. As I was coming in here, the REM pod just went off. So hopefully something has come into this room with me. Okay, so if my family's in this house with me now, can you please come over and speak to me, speak into this device? If you have a message or words to pass on, maybe to a family member, a neighbor, a friend, speak to this device. Are you aware that you've passed away? Can you tell me what it's like for you now? You never know. Okay, so if my family's in this house with me now, can you please come over and speak to me, speak into this device? or words to pass on maybe to a family member a neighbor a friend speak to this device are you aware that you've passed away Ooh. Okay, so Okay, so there was a bit of movement there and um I'm not sure if it was a voice, a moan. Not 100%, but there was definitely something there. So you say there's four spirits in this house. Can you tell me their names? Can you tell me how you passed away? Are 
Are you at peace now? Are you happy? Is there anybody that you miss? Jesus. So you say there's four spirits in this house. Can you tell me their names? Movement. Are you at peace now? Are you happy? Is there anybody that you miss? Right, so a couple of moments there, there was movement, obviously I've been keeping still, um, it sounded like a few breaths into the mic, which could be me, it could be the wind, but just very strange, and also on the first recording, maybe a voice, a moan, maybe a little whimper, I can't be 100% because obviously really bad weather outside. Houses, old houses make noises, but a bit weird, a bit strange. Okay guys, so we're just gonna end up in the bedroom with the necrophonic. We do have the music box on the dresser here, just facing out into the other bedroom. Anything crosses that threshold, we should pick it up on that device. Hopefully we'll get some words through, some messages from the family or anyone else that's here. They do claim there's four spirits in this house fingers crossed we will pick up something on this one so if any of those four spirits want to speak to me now this is your chance i'm up in the bedroom do you have a message to pass on can you tell me your name This is obviously an old house. Can you tell me how long you've been here? Hello? Do you have any messages you'd like to pass on? Health. Is that your message? No mercy, did that say? Leave. Hello? Is there somebody on the stairs? Yes. something out there whoever's on the stairwell can you come into this room with me speak to me if you... it's basically a music box do you like music boxes okay I have one main question I'd like answering 
and that is what is it like when you've passed away can you tell me cold I swear there's something in that hallway stairwell Can you tell me who's in the on the stairs? No, 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 no. Boom, boom, boom. Hello? No, I heard that. That was well clear. Hello? the hell man that's well creeped me out just gonna have one more go with the necrophonic down here and hopefully we'll get a few more answers so is it so the little girl that I heard upstairs have you been here for long <coughs> hi I'm interested in speaking to my family, the last owner of this house. Is she still here? Yeah. Is she okay? Is she in any pain? No. Has she moved on or is she still here? Help me. How can I help you? Go home. Would you like me to leave? Is that what you're saying? Please. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I do feel like there is something in this house. Nothing particularly bad or evil, malevolent, malevolent, that's the right word, yeah. But there, I feel like there's something still here. It said four spirits. We've got a little girl come through, a man's voice. This house has been here a long time. It's got a lot of history and literally anything could have happened. So without records, we only really know Mathamwe or that she was happy. It's very peculiar indeed. But like I said, I don't feel like there's anything evil, demonic, nothing like that here. I feel like the spirits that are here are quite happy to be left alone, if that makes sense. So guys, like I said, we're going to leave this here. Hope you've enjoyed it. We're back on another adventure next week. Hope to see you there and have a great Christmas. See you next time, guys. Let's go.